I'm Janie Turner. And I'm Mark Tilling. And we're going to make chocolate macaroons with gold leaf for you. A wonderful recipe of Mark's from my new book, I Love Chocolate, I Love Thermomix. We're going to start with 60 grams okay. of sugar. 60 grams of sugar. Okay. And three egg yolks. 20 grams of cocoa powder. Okay. It's a beautiful, rich, dark brown color. Mm. And then two teaspoons of custard powder. Okay. And then 250 grams of cream, okay. whipping cream in this case. There we go. Lovely. And the seeds from half a vanilla pod. And our chocolate creme pat or chocolate pastry cream is going to be ready in five minutes. 90 degrees. And speed four to let the Thermomix cook it for you. Perfectly every time. So you've got a perfect pastry cream here. And it's a bit thin at the moment, but it will definitely thicken up perfectly. And then we'll be able to transfer it to a piping bag and Mark will assemble the macaroons right. with this chocolate pastry cream in the middle. And now we're going to make Mark's fabulous chocolate macaroons, starting with 120 grams okay. of whole almonds. Let's weigh them. And we're just going to set that for uh, 12 seconds at speed 10. 12 seconds. And then you're going to add some icing sugar, okay. 210 grams. grams of beautiful cocoa powder. Fantastic. It's going to give us a chocolate macaroon look. And one of the things that is a challenge to do is to mix those ingredients beautifully. And so Absolutely. now you can use the turbo pulsing okay. to do that. So turbo pulse one second, four times. Wow, that's fantastic. And there we have a beautiful even mix. Now, of course, it's important to wash and dry your Thermomix bowl so it's completely grease-free and your butterfly whisk, mm -hmm. unless you happen to have a second Thermomix bowl, which is clean and ready to go. So just pop in your butterfly whisk on top of the blade and add 100 grams of egg whites. Okay, 100 grams of egg whites. And 25 grams of caster sugar. And five minutes at speed three. Okay, done. Perfect meringue, easy, easy. peasy. Wow, look how fine the, the bubbles are in the Thermomix. It's, it's great. really good, isn't it? Really great. Just knock the egg whites off there. Okay, and we can put it into another bowl. Then Mark's just going to add a quarter of the almond mixture and fold it in, and then gradually fold in all the rest of it to make our macaroon mixture. Okay, so we're just going to gently fold this through. Okay, and then we can fold in the rest. Maybe that Thank more, Jeannie. Mm, can you smell that chocolate already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it smells gorgeous. So we're looking for a nice paste consistency to this. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So perfectly smooth and glossy. Mm, yeah. And then it gets transferred into a piping bag, which we've already done some for you. And Mark is just going to pipe some macaroons out, little two centimeter circles. Okay, we've got a little one centimeter nozzle here as well. And about one or two centimeters apart to allow them a little bit of room.
You've done that a few right. times before. Just a few you? times, yes. <laughs> and we have some gold leaf. Just yeah. give it a little tap first. Okay, so the key for this, Janie, is just to open it just a tiny bit and then just scrape and place on. And this is going on when the macaroon mixture is wet so that the gold leaf will stick to it. And they look absolutely gorgeous. So now we need to leave them to rest to have a slight crust on the outside, which could take about half an hour. Uh, in the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 130 degrees Celsius with no fan or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So Mark, talk us through the assembly of these beautiful macaroons. Okay, so you saw that we piped ones with the gold leaf on, yep. um, but we've got some here with no gold leaf because um, we only want really one half to be shown. Um, and obviously yeah. we don't want to waste money on, on the gold, gold leaf. leaf on both sides. <laughs> um, so we've got the, the pastry cream in a, in a piping bag. Yep. You could also use a ganache or maybe a buttercream as well. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter. Yep. And then we're going to pipe a little bit of the pastry cream on. And then we're going to marry that up with a little macaroon on the bottom. Right here. And then and we can pop it onto, onto, a, a plate. onto a plate. And Mark's also done some very beautiful macaroons with gold dust on them. So if you didn't um, want to spend a lot of money on the gold leaf, well, you yes. can use a gold dust instead, which uh, creates a great effect too. So thank you very much, Mark, for these beautiful chocolate macaroons with gold leaf. No problem. It's a wonderful recipe. Thank and you. And we're really looking forward to eating them all. Me too. <laughs>